Hello Scorpio, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me for another week of your general reading. So I pray that you all are doing well out there. You're staying safe, taking care of yourself and all that great jazz. So we have your messages laid out for you um, as usual. I don't know what they say. We'll get into all of that. But before we get into the main meat and potatoes of this, I have uh, two cards that I pull for your pre-message. <clears throat> so let's just see what they say. All right. Well, we have rain, purification, <laughs> right there. So, um, it's been raining lately here uh, in San Diego. You know, this past weekend it was raining off and on. And then in other parts of the country too, you know, just with the, the um, storms and things of that nature and just uh, Mother Nature really rearing its head. Um, you know, what this card is saying to me, you know, is washing away some of the old, um, or washing away all of the old, washing away all of the old, the outdated things, the things that aren't really helping um, you, and just making way for the newness to come in. You know, the um, the rain has a way of, <clears throat> you know, just cleansing. So it's like a cleanse. So some of you could be doing like uh, internal cleanses, you know, as far as like your diet, uh, the things that you're eating, maybe juice cleanses or something like that. Um, you know, and just a lot of the, a lot of just the cleaning out of the old, you know, outdated things. So decluttering your mind, decluttering your life with a lot of things and just really inviting in a lot of new energy, you know, and just getting rid of all of that old energy <clears throat> right there. So just, uh, as I said, washing away the old, making way for the fresh, <laughs> you know, and even after it rains, you know, everything just feels good. It looks good. Yeah, your car might be a bit dirty, but oh, hell, oh, well, go wash it. Um, <laughs> but you know, it makes way for a new growth to come pretty much. So, you know, just, um, having that, that cleanse there just to allow for some growth to enter your life. Next we have action. So this is the card right there. Probably can't see that. I apologize. Um, action. You have the courage to express the unique loving colors of your soul. So, yes. So, taking that action, really expressing who you are, um, not letting things hold you back, not letting things hold you captive or hold you hostage, you know, to the past or to your present sometimes, um, even to the future as well. Because a lot of times we can get so caught up in worrying about the future that we're not really focusing on the present and what's really happening right now in our present life. So, you know, just saying that you have the action to be courageous, express every aspect of you, and also just be courageous in letting a lot of this old, um, these old things wash away, you know, wash away out of your life in order to move towards uh, what is better for you. So Scorpio, let's go ahead and get into your reading this week. All right, so we have the star card. And it's in reverse. <clears throat> so right now, what this energy is telling me, maybe someone is feeling a bit, mm, I don't want to say depressed, but... The energy is low. It's a bit melancholy right now. Maybe somebody is trying to figure out exactly where they need to go, exactly where they need to take that action for their life um, in order to um, move towards the next step. So right now, somebody might be on that um, journey, you know, and just trying to really find themselves and really just trying to see what path it is that they're, they're needing to take to get to their next destination. And as I say with life, the destination is not always important that what is important is the journey and what we are learning from the journey, what we are observing, what we are seeing, what we are um, using, <clears throat> you know, using uh, what resources are we using, you know, to get to that next step. So right now, somebody is in that energy of trying to figure, figure themselves out, figure out what their path is. Um, see exact just to see exactly where it is that they are trying to get towards also in doing this um you know someone is doing a lot of healing 
as well are they working on you know trying to heal you know right now that might be something that is difficult for them to see because depending on what uh, happened because right now this is the current energy you know so as I always say this is your story so you know how this plays out in your life but depending on what the circumstances were previously that led up to this now someone might be feeling a bit lost um, you know, maybe they were on a certain path or they had a certain direction that they were going on, but then something came along that kind of knocked them off the path or knocked them in another direction. So now, you know, they're trying to just trying to, uh, figure out everything that has happened, figure out everything that has transpired, just asking themselves, okay, I was here, but now I find myself here. <laughs> how did I get here? How did I let this happen? How, what happened with that? So in doing that and trying to figure out, um, you know, just this direction that they're on right now, they're needing to work on their healing as well and just trying to find a way to heal so they can redirect themselves to get back to where they know they need to be or where they want to be, where they desire to be um, and moving forward. Next, we have the Ace of Wands. So this could have been a new idea. This could have been a new uh, uh, project, a new venture, maybe even new love, anything of that nature, because the Ace of Wands talks about passion. So whatever it is that this uh, person, um, you know, originally what they might have been doing to kind of get them off this path, you know, it might have involved a new idea about something, or it involved somebody else kind of coming in and, <clears throat> um just having something having something new having something different than what they originally had planned so maybe this is what threw someone off course right there and to have them in this current energy I wouldn't say that this is but this is not going to resonate for everybody I wouldn't say that this is necessarily a bad thing you know because sometimes we might be going in one direction and something else will come along to kind of steer us in another direction and not saying that that's bad but just saying that it might this new direction might be a better alternative than the original plan you know it doesn't always work out that way but um that's one of the energies that i am picking up from this ace of wands in relation to this star card right here Maybe this is having something to do with travel. So maybe there was some kind of uh, travel delay. You know, as I said, there was something that it was an original plan, but then some other ideas, some other um, um, entity, <laughs> whatever, uh, came along and it kind of redirected someone uh, to an alternate route. For the time being, you know, as I say, you can always get back on that path. But if you realize that there is a certain direction or certain path that you were going and you realize that um, the opposite might be better or something else might be better then by all means, you know, put your all into that, you know. But again, just continue to take that action to move forward because we never want to remain stagnant or we don't want to remain stuck in a certain uh, part of life. Because life always moves forward, no matter if we're there, no matter if we are, um, you know, ready or not, life is going to move. So make sure that you're moving at the pace of life, but also make sure that you are doing your healing and that you're doing whatever it takes for you to um, um, get better, <clears throat> you know, in all aspects, emotional, physical, mental, and spiritual as well. But I'm picking up heavily just some kind of travel or moving in, moving somewhere or going somewhere. Um, you know, it could have been a new idea about moving, but maybe that did not pan out. So now somebody is having to figure out an alternate route, as I said, and just kind of regroup and rethink uh, some things. Yeah, because now we have the Seven of Cups and in this particular position right here, this is saying that somebody is needing to decipher, you know, what is real, what is not real. So again, really needing to take a hard look at where they are and clear out a lot of the confusion. I did say that at the beginning. So just uh, decluttering, um, 
decluttering a lot that's going on in your mind or going on in your world or just going on around you. Maybe there are too many people, too many energies and things, too many distractions that might be uh, might be uh, coming up for someone. So they're they're needing to learn how to put things in each place, in their place, you know, compartmentalize um, some things as well. And also learning, as I said, learning what is helping you, what is moving you forward and what is not necessarily helping you. So learn to just let that go and leave it in the past. But yeah, this is mainly just um, deciphering and having a discerning attitude. And when I say what I mean by discerning is, again, being able to recognize the things that are helping you and also being able to recognize the things that are hindering you, that are not serving you, that are holding you back um, pretty much. You know, there's a lot of um, with the seven of cups right here. It can be overwhelming, you know, for someone because, you know, the illusions of things as well. So maybe some things appearing um, as something, but then in reality is something else. So again, that's what I say. Be very discerning about whose energy you are letting into your life, whose energy you have around you or what energies and what things that you are allowing. Because, um, you know, it could be a lot of smoke, a lot of smoke and mirrors uh, with with some of these things. And maybe some of these smoke and mirrors, some of these illusions as well is what uh, threw somebody, you know, off. Also, I'm picking up maybe there was some kind of uh, new idea or a new um, new business project, a new business venture, new travel or something of that nature. But it might be, it might be... Um, it might have been affected because of other things that were in the way. So, you know, whoever that resonates for. Next, we have the Ace of Pentacles, and it comes out in the reverse as well. So, yeah, there was some kind of, you know, someone is worried that... Someone is worried that their needs won't be met is what I'm getting with this card, with this Ace of Pentacles. Someone is worried that, um, you know, some things that they've invested in and just this path that they were originally on, this new idea, this new business, this new um, uh, relationship. As I said, it can play out many different ways in your life. Only you know, I'm just giving you the message. So somebody is worried that whatever it is that they invested in or whatever it is that they wanted to go towards or they wanted to choose, they're not feeling as if they're going, they're going to be um, compensated or that maybe this offer will slip through their fingers. <clears throat> and that's kind of what I'm picking up too. You know, someone is maybe veered off the path a bit and they're trying to get back on and... You know, they're just trying to clear their way through all the confusion and clear their way through all of the uh, illusions and delusions and things of that nature. Also working through their own fears and working through their own belief systems. You know, as I said, just maybe uh, purifying themselves, washing away some old beliefs and really needing to... Um, really needing to tap into their own inner sources and also inner resources. But someone is definitely feeling, you know, having a fear that something is going to slip through their fingers, you know, slip through their hands, whether this is money or whether it's time, um, you know, this new job or a relationship or project. But... <clears throat> Again, this could be one of the um, illusions, you know, that they're playing into. Pretty much just psyching themselves out and saying to themselves that if they don't get to where they need to be or if they don't get there on time, then they're going to risk losing a lot of these things. But mainly what they, what they are needing to do is just clear out a lot. And then that way they'll be able to see uh, much more clear than they have. Uh, before because right now they just have a lot in their energy 
So <clears throat> that that it, it's 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 just clouding them. Like I said, just these smoke and mirrors and things that are appearing to be one thing, but then they wind up being something else. You know, so somebody's feeling a bit tricked or bamboozled in a way. Um, you know, however that uh, talks to you. And then we have the Eight of Cups right there. So, <clears throat> somebody is, yeah, thinking about maybe walking away from something um, if they've not done that yet. And maybe this is like a hold up. So, maybe. Um, as I said, they need to walk away from some things. They need to leave some things behind right there in order to get back to where they were or get back to where they uh, need to be or where they feel that they need to be. So, you know, there could be someone who might be feeling as if they're stuck between a rock and a hard place and saying, well, if I choose, you know, this way, if I walk away from this, then I could stand, I might lose this. Or if I walk away from, you know, this thing over here, then I could be losing um, that, <laughs> you know, whatever that is, you know, and it could, like I said, it's just any, any resources. It could be money. It could be a job. It could be time. You know, maybe time wasted. Somebody is walking away from something because they feel as if they wasted a lot of time. They wasted a lot of money or resources on something. So, you know, someone is praying for guidance, uh, you know, just doing meditation and asking their higher power. I am picking that up because, as I said, no matter what they do, if they walk away, if they walk, here's the thing, whoever this is talking to, if you have to walk away from something, then yeah, maybe you will have to hurt someone's feelings. Maybe you will have to um, sacrifice, you know, some things for a little while. But don't relegate yourself to be a people pleaser or keeping yourself in any situations that are keeping you stuck and keeping you stagnant right there because you're feeling guilty um, or feeling um, as if, people won't treat you the same or that things will be different. Yeah, things will be different, but sometimes that is the name of the game. But are, again, are you willing to just stay stagnant and remain in a situation that you know you need to move away from? Um, are you going to stay just to make sure that people and um, whoever it is make sure that they're happy, but then you're sacrificing your happiness as well? All right, so we have the Ace of Swords going forward. So yeah, somebody's gonna be speaking some truth here, um, gaining some kind of clarity on some situation. So yeah, right now they might be in this um, this state of needing to heal themselves, this state of needing to really work on their own inner healing, their own inner emotional um, you know, stress and turmoil, things of that nature, and get back to where they feel they need to be, but needing to take some action and clear out the confusion, like I said, taking action right here. This Ace of Wands is about all about the action right there. So take some action to clear out this confusion because right now they're feeling as if um, something is slipping away and maybe they have not fully decided to walk away from something or to leave something behind for fear of uh, rocking the boat, upsetting some people, um, or if walking walking away from something, you know, they could be saying to themselves, well, if I walk away, then yeah, I will lose some money or I will have wasted time. But either way, we have to remain in the present. So <clears throat> what is making you happy? What is moving you forward? What do you um, feel that you need to go towards? You know, just honestly speaking your truth, honestly um, communicating, verbalizing what it is that you want. So, you know, somebody is going to be definitely doing that. So I feel as if once they speak their truth, once they are honest with themselves and honest with uh, whoever else is involved in this energy, then, you know, everybody is on the same page. Yes, everybody might not be happy, but 
that's just the way life goes, okay? <laughs> so depending on what side of the energy you fall on right now, you know, Scorpio, this is your reading, but this could be um, someone who you're dealing with. But um, either way, some truth needs to come out of this. Some clarity needs to be spoken. And in doing so, this will help. This will help clear up a lot of this confusion and help clear up a lot of the uh, clutter that somebody is in because right now somebody's just feeling a bit lost. That's what it is. Somebody is feeling a bit lost and they're needing to gain some kind of um, information or some get clarification on something in order to get back to where they um, need to be. So, Scorpio, um, thank you all for joining me for another week of your reading. I pray that the, the reading resonated with you and... Just have a great uh, rest of your week. <laughs> Take care. God bless you. And I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.